Welcome back to Wiseman Company, everyone. Ben here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Surefire Aviator. This is going to come as a big shocker to you guys, but over the years, the flashlight has been one of the most used items in my EDC, and guess what? I haven't really used it a whole lot for defensive purposes, PIDing targets, stopping bad guys, etc. I more use it for the menial, everyday tasks. The Surefire Aviator does a great job of bridging the gap. Emphasis on everyday tasks, but bridging the gap between EDC tasks and defensive tasks. Let's get into some of the details of this light. For those of you that don't know, the Aviator is a dual output head. So right here, you can see white got off, and then I have the red version. The other versions that are available would be white and amber, white and blue, and white and a yellowish green color. Uh, all those colors have specific uses or they're good at specific things. I chose the red. Fun fact, I used to fly planes and when we were night flying, uh, the red light was an essential tool for us. I would have killed for something like this back in the day, um, but now I'm using it for other things. Okay, all the models of the Surefire Aviator are going to use a CR123 battery and we'll have different at max output for each color. So for example, I have the white and red. White output, high is going to be 250 lumens, low is going to be 5 lumens with 9,300 candela. That number is important and we'll get into that later on. Red is gonna have a max output of 39 lumens. I know that's not that much, but for everyday tasks, that's plenty. And a low of one lumen, which actually also sees a lot of action in my day-to-day -day tasks as well. So red color is gonna have less output. Not a surprise there. To change the color, you're going to simply rotate the head. I'm on red right now. You can click it to off, which is going to lock it out, or you can switch it to white. The first tap is going to be low, double tap is high. Same for red. Let's move it back over to red. Low, high. Click it on to lock it in place. Nice part about the tail cap is it's a recessed button, so you can actually stand it on a table, use it as an umbrella light. It's not gonna tip over, which is kinda cool. And all these Surefire tail switches are gonna have these little holes in it so you can run a lanyard of some sort in the back of it if you want to. Metal pocket clip, these are pretty robust. I have never broken one. So red has the longest run time out of any of the colors. It's gonna be three hours on high and then a whopping 57 hours on low. That is a long time. Uh, that's what makes the red so good for everyday carry tasks, really saves battery. So why did I have an interest in the aviator? Why do I carry it every day? How do I use it? The light is one of the most used items in my EDC, like I said at the beginning of the video. Right alongside the knife. I use the light a lot. I do not use it in a tactical environment very much as I made the joke in the beginning. The red light saves my batteries and my natural night vision. So when your eyes adapt to darker rooms, outside, etc., your pupils dilate, you're trying to take in more light. The red light doesn't wreck that. If you guys know some other benefits of red light, put them down in the comments below because there are other benefits. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. This would be cool to see. But uh, those are the main reasons for the red light. I use this for reading a book at night in bed, uh, walking the dog, taking out the trash, loading mags, checking gun parts in the dark on the range. Red light, get, red, the red light gets used quite a bit. Um, and it will be hard for me not to have a red light in my pocket going forward here in life on the white light is used for the defensive role pid pid and targets positive id distraction and we'll get into that in a little bit seeing stuff further away it does get used but definitely not as much as the red light on this aviator. so you know i like to use this for everyday carry tasks right i made a case for that 
Is the aviator absolutely worthless in a defensive role? No. And to prove it to myself and to you guys, I took it to a bigger low light class and used it for the duration of the class. So day one was all handgun stuff. You used a pocket light and a weapon mounted light if you wanted to. I used both, but I used this the majority of the time in the low light class. Comparatively speaking, a lot of other pocket lights that were brought to this class had way better specs than this light. When we're talking about Lumens and Candela, there were some heavy hitters in there, uh, melt your face off bright type of, type of lights. And honestly, this thing still held its own. I was able to make shots anywhere from 50 to 30 yards, ID targets, ID numbers, ID colors. And we even had a section where we had to go up against our own pocket lights. So what we did, we turned them on, brightest mode, stuck them on a barrel, kind of at like belt level and at the firing line facing us. So we were basically blinded by our own lights and we had to overcome them. And I'll tell you right now, getting hit with 250 lumens in the eyeballs, trying to make a shot is challenging. It's really, really hard. On the flip side, we also got to go against other people's lights by fighting light with light. So there'd be that light down range on the barrel. I whip out my aviator and shine it to try to break that photonic barrier. ID the target and make the hit. So it definitely would do the job. Is it gonna put the amount of light on target like some of the other big heavy hitters out there cranking a thousand lumens, high candela? No, it's not gonna do that. In the moment though, this would absolutely work. Now, one drawback that I had was the double tap. I would much prefer the first click to be the highest output. It wasn't. So it was a little bit of a training issue there. I just had to know, okay, pull light out, double tap, and I'm gonna have the highest output. The other thing was I had to make sure I was on white light. I knew I was taking the class and it was a defensive class using white light, so I just left it on there. At night, when I go to bed, I put this next to my handgun, I switch it to white light, and I know if I grab it in the middle of the night, I'm gonna be cranking out white light, not the red. So you gotta be cognizant of that, what mode you're on, set it for your environment, and go. Price, you all wanna know about price, rightfully so. It's Joe Biden's America, right? 260 bucks for the Aviator. Surefire prices, not a surprise there. You shouldn't be surprised by that. And is it worth 260 bucks? That really depends on your needs. Believe it or not, I have lights that are more expensive than this and they don't get used near as much. And I know for certain that Surefire makes a bomb proof light. Take a look at this EDC L1-T. Had this for five years. Here's a little size comparison for you guys. But this is what I've been carrying prior to the Aviator. This thing has been through the ringer. I mean, range day after range day, night classes. I've swam with it underwater. It's gone through the washing machine. No issues, no flickering, no problems at all. Everything still works as it should. Um, pocket clip, solid. The only thing you can see I have worn down the tail cap to where it is smooth. Uh, there is no knurling on it anymore, like this one right here it is just a smooth tail cap, but it still works as advertised, and I'll prove it to you. There we go. Bright mode, no issues. So five years, and this still runs like it's brand new. Um, and if this ever breaks, I'll just replace it with a different tail cap. Um, but you know with Surefire, you're gonna get your money's worth out of the lifespan of it. And a lot of Surefire lights, again, they're built to last. Buy once, cry once. It's just the name of the game. All right, fellas, the Surefire Aviator. Let me know what you think down below. I really do think this is a light that's gonna give you a lot of value. There's not many videos on YouTube about this light. I really was excited to do this video. Again, because you're not, this isn't a light that's just gonna pigeonhole you into that like crunchy granola, EDC roll where you got your brass pocket clip and head and you got nice patina on the light and it's not going to just be a tactical defensive light where it's 3000 lumens going to melt your face off. It's going to be a light 
that you can do a multitude of things with fairly well. You know, it's not it's it's not it's not one or the other, and that's that's kind of why I picked it up and have been using it. Let me know down in the comments about Red Light. Don't forget that. I want to hear what you have to say about Red Light. You like it? What are some of the benefits of it? What would you use it for? Uh, leave me a comment down below. Go over to wisemancompany.com. That's the best way to support us. We appreciate all that support. A lot of great gear over there. And uh, we can't wait to see you on the next video. See you guys.